Keeping an eye on what your Newfoundland is eating is so, so important as there's many poisonous foods out there that you might not be aware of. And today we're gonna to be learning what they are. Welcome back to the Fenrir Newfoundland Show. My name's Joe and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. We are dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Newfoundland and then how to become a high level canine leader so you can raise your very own. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss a future upload. Making sure that your Newfoundland is eating the right things and not anything that's poisonous is very, very important. I don't really need to tell you that. Today, we're gonna to be tuning into a webinar that the canine behaviorist and founder of FenrirCanineLeaders.com, Will has recorded all about poisonous foods for dogs and what to keep them away from. So over to you, Will. Most dogs are very food driven. They love to eat and most owners find it almost impossible to resist their dog's large puppy eyes, begging them to share their food with them. But many human foods are in fact extremely dangerous to dogs. They can make them sick or even, God forbid, kill the dog. As a responsible dog owner, you absolutely need to know what these foods are so that you can and keep your new pet safe. And in this webinar, I'll point out human foods which are very toxic to dogs. So then let's dive into today's webinar. We're gonna jump straight into the list of foods that your canine best friend should never eat. If your dog has ingested any of the substances on this list, even in small quantities, I recommend you take them to the vet immediately. Do not gamble with your canine companion's precious health or even with their lives. So let's start with garlic, onions, leeks, and chives. Now, whilst garlic, onion, leeks, and chives are tasty and healthy for humans, these vegetables and herbs are extremely dangerous for dogs. Those plants who belong to the onion family can cause anemia and even red blood cell damage in canines. Possible symptoms include weakness, high heart rate, pale gums and even collapse. Your dog may not show any of these symptoms until a few days after ingesting onions, garlics, leeks or chives. But the lack of immediate symptoms does not mean that your dog is going to be fine. If they have ingested any of these plants, no matter if raw, cooked or dry, take them to your vet immediately. As many dishes are ready-made human foods contain onions or garlic it's best to never feed your dog table scraps that may include those rhubarb is another vegetable that is good for people but not for canines if you grow rhubarb in your garden make sure that your dog cannot get near the plants for example by surrounding your vegetable patch with some sort of rabbit or chicken fence Rhubarb contains oxalic acid, a substance which is lethal to dogs if ingested in high quantities. Of all the different parts of the plant, the leaves have the highest concentration of the dangerous acid in them. But even the roots contain some of the acid, which is why a dog digging up rhubarb plants can get itself into serious trouble. Now, most people love chocolate, but for dogs, this sweet treat is quite poisonous. Chocolate contains the stimulant fiombramine, which is toxic to canines and can cause fatal kidney failure. The darker the chocolate and the higher its content of cocoa, the worse it is for your dog. Apart from the kidneys, that stimulant also affects the dog's guts, the heart, and the central nervous system. Typically, signs of poisoning from chocolate will be visible between 4 and 24 hours after ingesting chocolate. Your dog may show one or more of the following symptoms, including restlessness, vomiting, diarrhea, nervousness, or seizures. Avocados are very good for humans, but again, not for dogs. All parts of the avocado plant and fruit contain the substance persin. This can cause diarrhea and vomiting if ingested by a dog. If you happen to be growing avocados in your backyard, make sure your dog stays away from the plants. Especially puppies have the tendency to nibble on everything they can find whilst exploring their environment, toxic plants included. So it's always best to be safe than sorry. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to ask, are you following us over on Instagram? If you're not, there's two accounts I would love for you to check out. The first one is our brand account, at Femre Canine Leaders, where you can see more about our industry-leading products that we create. If you're interested in following me personally, that's at I am Will Afferton, where you can see behind the scenes of me working with some of the most extreme behaviour cases in the world, and what it takes to run these kind of YouTube channels, and maybe if you just want to be able to come over and chat with me, that's the place for you. So there'll be links down in the description box for both of our Instagram pages. I'd love for you to come and check them out and hopefully we'll chat over there. 
Macadamia nuts are yet another food that is tasty and healthy for humans, but not for dogs. This is because these round, soft nuts from Australia contain a toxin which affects a dog's muscles and nervous system. Macadamia poisoning can cause various symptoms such as swollen limbs, weakness and vomiting. Your dog may also get tremors and pant more than usual due to an elevation of body temperature caused by the toxin. Typically, these symptoms occur within 12 hours of ingesting macadamia nuts and they can last for well up to 48 hours. One of the most dangerous food for dogs is an artificial sweetener called xylitol. Unfortunately, many people thinking peanut butter is a safe treat for their dogs accidentally fill them up with this very dangerous substance. Other food items that contain xylitol include pastry, candy and some diet foods that are advertised as sugar free. Ingesting this substance can cause, uh, can cause severe drops in your dog's blood sugar as well as liver failure. Common early symptoms to watch out for are problems with coordination, vomiting, general lethargy and seizures. If you suspect your dog could have consumed foods containing xylitol, take it to your vet immediately. Otherwise you risk losing your dog due to liver failure and this can happen just a few days after it has eaten xylitol containing foods. Now, for us humans, nothing beats a good strong coffee in the morning to really get us ready for the day. For canines, however, caffeine can be deadly. If you suspect your dog ingested any caffeine-containing drink or food, get them to your vet immediately. Apart from the obvious source of caffeine, being coffee or certain teas, the substance is also quite often contained in coffee beans and grounds, as well as Coca-Cola, Red Bull and other energy drinks, as well as cacao in chocolate, uh, also having caffeine in them. Grapes and raisins are another healthy snack for people, especially when grape season comes along in autumn. Unfortunately, these innocent seeming fruits are among the deadliest food for dogs. If not released quickly from your dog's system by vomiting, grapes and raisins can cause kidney failure and liver damage, which is why you need to act very quickly in case your dog has eaten these fruits. Do not just wait and see and hope for the best, but call your vet immediately, if necessary on their emergency number. The vet will usually give an injection to make your dog vomit, which prevents the toxins from getting deeper into their system. Dogs may pick up grapes from the ground and swallow them. For example, if you go on walks in areas of the world where grapes are grown. If you live in an area with these vineyards, it's just something extra that you really need to be watching out for. Now, contrary to popular opinion, dairy products are not good for dogs, simply because their digestive system has a hard time breaking down lactose. And eating larger amounts of any cheese can cause them to get sick. But any kind of blue cheese is much worse. Many brands contain Rock14C, a substance likely to cause vomiting and diarrhea in dogs. Dogs who have eaten large chunks of blue cheese also can suffer from seizures, tremors and elevated temperature. Therefore, again, if you suspect that your pup has eaten this kind of cheese, it's always best to be safe and sorry and call your vet. This one I think should go without saying, but even small doses of alcohol have a huge negative impact on our canine companions. And alcohol is far more toxic to dogs than it is to humans. A few sips are enough to cause intoxication, vomiting, diarrhea, decreased coordination, breathing difficulties and tremors and in the worst case alcohol can damage your dog's nervous system put them into a coma or even kill them therefore always keep alcohol well away from your dog to cause accidental consumption and don't be that person giving your dog any alcohol even if you think it's funny it's not the one. There you have it, guys. Some really useful information from Will there, all about poisonous foods for your Newfoundland. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, get involved in the comments down below as we would love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell as we have two dedicated videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to see you in the next episode of the Fenrir Newfoundland Show.